We're going to be going through the zygomatic bone next. So the zygomatic bone is going to be sitting here. It's what you normally refer to as your cheekbone. And really, it's going to be pretty easy. It's a central bone with three projections going in three different directions. And they're all named for the bone that they're going towards. Plus, they have sutures near them. So I'm going to start by just palpating the front of the cheek here. So the kind of the body or center of this zygomatic bone. As we are heading up beside the eye, the zygomatic bone is making up the lateral orbital margin right along here. So this is known as the frontal process as it's meeting up with the frontal bone. So again, you can kind of feel that outer edge. Careful not to poke them in the eye as you're going along it. And as you're going back, so behind that's going to be kind of our sphenoid. As I'm heading, I'm just going to turn your head gently to the side here. So again, kind of the center of that zygomatic bone. I'm heading towards the temporal bone now. So just as you round towards the back of this, there's another suture line here. So this kind of portion of the bone is known as the temporal process, and that's a portion of our zygomatic arch. So again, we discussed that in the temporal bone. Half of the zygomatic arch is made up of the zygomatic bone. And I'm gonna be rotating you back. And as I kind of round towards the front of this here, it's gonna be meeting up with the maxilla. So again, there's gonna be a maxillary process of this part of the bone here. So really, if you sink in, just gently feel, you'll be able to feel where these bones all meet. And these sutures are just named for the two bones that they are in contact with. So that shouldn't be too much. Um, we will talk about some muscles in a different video coming off the zygomatic bone. It's easy to remember those are known as zygomaticus major and minor and they're gonna have origins on either side of this. But other than that, really, there's just three projections and that's all there is to the zygomatic bone.